everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with little baby Wesley and it's been a while since I have done one of my like normal videos. Like I haven't really been posting a ton recently and there's really no excuse for that. I've just been kind of busy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just haven't been posting. There's not really like a real reason for it. Just I've been like busy. It has nothing to do with like COPPA and all the YouTube rules. I just honestly have not been doing much of YouTube things. I don't know. I've been painting a lot because I have a special um, reborn project I've been working on, but I can't share that until like later this month. But I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to share it. So I've been doing a lot of that and um, yeah, so <laughs> I kind of just wanted to make a video that's more of my like normal content. And so I picked Wes to be in this video because I've only done one video with him. He's my newest baby. Got him um, back in December, I think towards the beginning of December. So I've only done one video with him. So I thought we'd just whip him out, do a changing, and just like talk to you guys. Um, like some updates, I guess. So basically I'm going to show you the outfit we're going to change him into real quick. First of all, I need to change his diaper because... I don't know, I think he's wearing a huge diaper right now because I didn't like have any his size and then I got these really cute Cloud Island diapers that are just like a fun little basic print so I need to put that on him so it'll actually, he'll actually be wearing a diaper that fits him. I need to do that. I keep forgetting to change his diaper, that's why I still haven't done it. Then I'm going to put him in this outfit from Carter's. It's these like jean overalls with this cute um, plaid cuff. And then it's like a thermal onesie. I love this. With penguins all over it and the buttons. I love it. And a little pocket. And then I have these cute little socks that match the bottom of his pants, kind of. Not really, but like a little bit. So he's going to wear those. And then I have two different pairs of shoes. I don't know which ones I'm going to put on him, but they're both cute. He might not even wear shoes. I don't know. We're going to try all the options. So anyways, I just wanted to show you his outfit that we're going to put him in before we change him. And the one he's wearing right now is from Janie and Jack. It's really cute. It's just like this one piece um, fancy little outfit. I just changed all the babies because they were in Christmas outfits. I'm sorry I didn't do a what my babies are wearing for Christmas video. I usually do stuff like that. I didn't do it, but I posted a picture on my Instagram at KellyMapleYT showing what all the babies were wearing. Like they were all lined up together and hanging out. So yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see all the babies, I posted that there. So. Cool. Anyways, we're gonna change Wes and I'm just gonna kind of talk about some updates. So Christmas happened and New Year's happened. Happy 2020, start of a new decade. That's really cool. Um, it's weird because like at the end of this new decade, I will be 28 years old. Like I'm literally gonna be 30 by the time this decade's over, which is crazy. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so here's... Um, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> so, Christmas was good. Um, just like our usual Christmas. Like we hang out with all of our family and that was fun. And a lot of people have been requesting that I do like a what I got for Christmas video like I used to do when I was younger. But like, I'm 18 now and pretty much most of what I got for Christmas was clothes. And so, I don't know. I just didn't think that would be interesting to a lot of you guys. So, I just didn't feel like making a video like that. My aunt got me some cute baby clothes, so those are cute, but I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I need to like share it. I'll probably post pictures of them in them or something. So I don't know, I just didn't feel like I needed to post a video. The coolest thing that I got, actually a couple really cool things I got, um, a 12 pound weighted blanket, so comfortable, um, highly recommend. It makes me go to sleep so much faster than I used to, I don't know, and it's just it's so soft, like I get really cold during night, so it's like, keeps me warm, because it's like, oh, it's so nice. And also it's supposed to like help with anxiety and stuff, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I just love it, and I don't know, it just makes me go to sleep so, like, quickly, and I, it's so much warmer than like regular old blankets, because I don't know, having the extra weight on you is just so much warmer. Um, then another cool thing I got for Christmas was a Cricut. Um, cutting machine if you don't know what that is like basically you can put whatever material you want in it like like paper sticker paper um, I don't know all kinds of things and it'll like cut out like your design you have to like do it online and everything it's really cool I tested it out um, you can you can cut things out with it and then like I want to try and like print onesies like well 
print out on like iron on paper. Oh my gosh, these socks are huge. Print out like things on like iron on paper so then I can like iron them onto onesies. I don't really know what I want to make for those yet so I haven't really tried it out. And I also don't have the right paper for it. But yeah, it's just really cool and I was going to make like stickers and stuff with it so... I don't know, I'm really excited about it. I've only tested it out once because I really don't know what I want to make with it and I don't want to waste any of the good paper until I know like what I really want to make. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's another like really cool thing that I got for Christmas. And then on December 30th, my white mouse petunia um, died. So that was really, really sad. Um, I didn't do a video about that, but she died and then um, the next day, since I found her late at night, the next day, me and two of my friends buried her in my backyard. We put her in a little box, and then my dad dug a hole, so we put her in there and buried her up. So she's in my backyard now. I'm really sad. I don't know how old she was, and I also don't know why she died, or like how she died. Um, I just found her dead in the cage, which was really sad, and I, the other mice were sad. And so that was a really, really sad moment. And she didn't even make it to the new year, I was so sad. I had had her for nine months, exactly. I got her on March 30th and she died on December 30th. So that was really sad. And actually just yesterday on January 2nd, I ended up getting a new mouse. I wasn't planning on getting another one um, so soon, but I found a mouse that I really like. She is tiny, she's like literally this big, not including her tail. And her name is Pip Squeak. She's brown. I'll probably insert pictures of these things so you guys can see. I forgot. I knew I'd forget. I knew I'd forget. I keep forgetting to change this day for You know what? We are, I have more to talk about, so we'll undo this outfit. Um, yeah, so my new mouse, Pip Squeak. She's really cute and tiny. Um, I've been working on taming the mice so they can all live together. Currently, um, Pip Squeak lives in a smaller separate cage away from the other mice because they're not all getting along completely yet. So um, I have to make them become friends so they can all live nicely together. So yeah, she's really cute though. She's such a small little baby, I love her. So you can see more of the mice and stuff on my Instagram at uh, Nugget, or I think it's Nug and Pals. I think, I'll put it on the screen. Oh yeah, this diaper's tiny. Like, this diaper's so small on him. But, uh, yeah, he just needed one. This is a size one, and I think he needs a size two diaper. I just didn't have any. This is a really cute diaper, it just, like, doesn't fit him. Okay. I knew I'd forget, this happens every time, because he's wearing a white onesie, so I never see his diaper, so I don't remember to check it. <laughs> I knew I'd forget, I said that. Um, yeah, so, my New Year's was good. Um, I don't know. We went to one of my friend's houses and there were a bunch of the hockey girls there so we all were hanging out and then we had practice at 8.30 the next morning so we were all really tired. <laughs> and yeah, and then I went back to school yesterday on Thursday, back from my winter break. That was nice. And I'm filming this on Friday. By the way, I don't know when I'll upload this, either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. Probably tonight because it's been a while. And yeah, so um, I guess... The COPPA stuff went into effect on, what was it, Wednesday? Was that the first? Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. Look at him. Um, I haven't heard anything about like how it's affecting anyone yet. Probably, obviously, because it's still so early on. Like It literally just happened three days ago. And usually, at least when I get my like AdSense stuff from YouTube, it comes on the 21st of every month. So I feel like we won't really be hearing anything about that until like the 21st or like whenever these YouTubers start getting their first paycheck with the new rules to see like how people are being affected and if it's really going to be like a 90% decrease in their revenue and stuff like that. So, um, scary times. I don't know. I'm still just going to post what I've been doing. Like I said, I haven't really been posting much, and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, I just like slammed him. He's okay though. Um, no, I haven't really been posting a ton, but that's just kind of my own fault. It has nothing to do with Kappa, and um, yeah, so another scary thing that's happening right now, my uh, Instagram at Little Mouse Nursery, which is the one that I use for all of my business about like selling my reborns and stuff like that. Well, like the ones I make, um, 
that's like my business, like, reborn business account, basically. It was hacked, I think, like, two, three days ago, and I, but I didn't notice, because I hadn't checked it, because, like, the holidays, so... I went to check it like a couple days ago, and it was like, you've been logged out. I'm trying to see which shoes I like better. Um, it was like, you've been logged out, so I logged back in with the password, and it was like, that's incorrect when I know the password is correct. So I'm, and then it was like, you can reset your password, so I tried to send myself in a text to reset the password, and it wasn't sending, and I know it was my uh, phone number because it showed me. I like these shoes better. Um, so then I tried to send an email, but whoever hacked my account changed the email to their email, so I can't get an email reset link, so that kind of sucks. I kind of like him without the shoes because the socks match. I think that's cute, but I do love these shoes. They're one of my, they're some of my favorite shoes. Oh, I'm torn. <laughs> mm, no, we'll go shoes. Okay. I don't know, just because he has the pattern. I don't know. The socks, it's the thought that counts. I know they're there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm working right now with Instagram to try and get my account back so I can um, do things. I I haven't really noticed any changes to the account yet. The only thing I noticed they did was they got rid of my bio. Um, it seems like all my posts are still there and like all the descriptions are the same. It doesn't look like they've been commenting on anything. I have no idea if they've been messaging people, so that's something that's scaring me. Like, I don't want them to ruin my business, so hopefully everything will be okay. I've been emailing with uh, the Instagram customer support, and hopefully they'll email me back really soon so we can fix this issue. But yeah, so if you've been, like, doing business with me through that account, just know um, I don't have access to it right now, um, and hopefully that will change soon. So, I don't know. Those are some updates uh, about my life from the past couple days. On oh, I just realized, like, I might not have comments on this video. I don't know. I might not have this video recommended. This video might flop. Like, literally, maybe none of you will even see this video. I don't know. Um, let's hope for the best and hope a lot of those things aren't true. Um, I'm kind of doubting that, but we can always hope. Anyways, guys, um... That's just been a little review of my end of 2019, beginning of 2020. I hope you guys all have happy holidays and happy new year. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Um, follow my Instagram at KellyMapleYT because that's where I'm going to be posting like notifications so you guys will know when I'm making new videos and stuff, which hopefully will be more often. I'm trying to get back into things. I've been kind of slacking recently. I'm sorry. Um, and if you can still comment, let me know. Um, give me a life update from you from the past, like, week. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. And look at how cute he is. He's so cute. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!